the GAN 356M might be GAN's smartest decision yet. Here is why. What's up guys, Lucas here and have you ever wanted to get your hands on a premium cube like the GAN 356X or XS but it might just be a bit too expensive for a 3x3? Well, you don't need to anymore, thanks to the 356M. I didn't really make a review for this cube so this is like a mini review or a follow up video for the comparisons I made. I know this video is a bit late but you guys seem to enjoy my GAN videos so let's get one thing aside. I love the 356M and I think it's GAN's best decision yet to release this cube. As you guys may know from watching my other GAN 356M comparisons and videos, you'll know that it is basically the same cube as the XS but lacking the newer high tech customization features such as the centerpiece travel control and the magnet strength change. Jesse, what are you doing? Oh, oh, oh. You're interrupting my video. Just one sec, one sec, okay. Fine. 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 You need to include this. Before we go any further, make sure to like and subscribe for more awesome videos every single week. And also if you want to get any of these cubes, the links will be in the description to our channel sponsor Kubos.com. They right now have a sale on like 25 cubes up to 50% and you can get an additional 5% off using my discount code LucasWill5 and it will also support the channel so it's a win-win situation. So yeah, make sure to do that after you watch this video. The links will be in the description. Are you done? Now you can come. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah, get out of the way. Let's do it for you. Gan has always been known to having the most premium and priciest cubes, or in other words, being the apple of cubing. You first off got the naming: 356 Air, 356 Air UM, 356 Air SM, 356 X, 356 XS, 356 I, 356 M. You get the point. And also, the packaging feels like you're unboxing a phone. So, yeah. Anyways, let's talk about why I love this cube so much and why you should consider getting one. There are four points to this. Number one, the feel. This cube feels expensive and premium and although it's really not, in reality it is very very light and does include a plastic core but there's something that makes it feel and look expensive. I think that has something to do with the matte finish, it looks really good and the black internals really complement the darker shades. Number two, the turning. The crunchy, iconic, light GAN feel is so satisfying. I won't go too in deep to that and the chronic cutting and stuff like that. You can check that out in my comparison with the GAN 356XS and the GTS 2 m I'll link those up in the card and in the description below, so make sure you check that out. <sighs> Number three, the price. As you may know, the 356M comes in two versions, light and standard. The light version excludes the GES nuts or the GAN elasticity system, but here's the thing, it comes in at $28, which is less than half the price of the XS. Number four, and this is the most important part, I haven't heard any Cuban YouTuber or anyone talk about this. Everyone is saying, oh, the GAN does not have any customization features, you only get one nut and you can't even tension it because there are no screws. It actually includes a customization feature. Watch this. You can actually get some centerpiece travel control. Each of these nuts include two settings, 0.6 and 0.8, and the crazy thing is, is that you don't even need a tool. It's very simple. The lower the number, the less the travel distance. Just use your fingers to turn them like this. So hope you guys enjoyed this video, I just wanted to share my thoughts about this cube. I've really been liking it and I highly recommend this cube for both beginners but also for pros. If you guys want to see a more in-depth comparisons, I'll leave links right below the like button as well as links to purchase this cube. Thank you guys for watching, catch you guys in the next one, bye.